Hello, fellow drone nerds. Thanks for joining us today. My name's Joe Kearns, and today, as you can see in front of us, we're gonna be talking about the massive Autel Dragonfish. We're gonna be doing an unboxing of this product, so let's head outside and go take a look. All right. All right, folks, so let's get started right now. So we have the large case the Dragonfish comes in, uh, and as we take this apart, there's gonna be different cases you might have for different versions of the dragonfish and such. Uh, today, we're gonna be doing the dragonfish standard and going over that. I'm gonna bring each piece over here and set it on the table and we'll kind of walk through the whole product. Um, as you see, one giant large case right here. Let's open her up. All right, so that's five clips on the outside that I've already unlocked. Uh, as soon as you open it up right there, you immediately see the large dragonfish, the full, unit right here. And so step one, let's go ahead and take this guy out. And a couple ways that uh, John from Autel, John McBride has always said to lift it in case you actually have batteries uh, loaded in here, is want to lift it from the underside of this wing to give it some support. And again, being very careful when I'm moving through this kind of a uh, uh, adjusting. This is a, uh, it's, you know, it's a, it's a large product, but it's definitely, it's not, it's not, I don't want to say fragile, but it's definitely something you do need to take some extra care on. So let's set the bird gently right here. And we'll start taking the rest of it. All right. And as we look into the case right here, we see this right here. This is going to be the large controller. Let's go ahead and take that out. This is that massive smart controller for the dragonfish. Um, you can definitely see where Autel comes from, which is automotive technology. Uh, this kind of user interface is just a massive controller. Absolutely love it. So we're gonna set that on the side. Looking back down in the case, um, a couple things right here. So we have enough room as I set them down on the table. Uh, you notice the large wings that are set up right here. So let's go ahead and take out the first one. You can see kind of some places to get in there and grip the full wing. Look at that guy. So definitely when you're taking it out, you want to be very careful about moving these sides of the wings because these servos, you definitely do not want to strip and you want to pull out the chin. So you can see this is going to be the right hand side wing right there. So I always like to kind of set it next to that side of the dragonfish so I know later when I'm setting it up and assembling it. Let's see right there. All right, so looking back down, looks like a couple things shifted maybe in transit. So let's move this over. Let's grab the second wing. Definitely something when I'm taking this wing out, you want to be careful is the pitot tube right here. Uh, it definitely has this red label to, to keep a keep a warning on there right now and make sure you're extra careful with it. So setting it right there and pulling it out nice and gently, being very careful with the servo on the other side. All right. So now as we look further down, we did notice right there, uh, this is one of the charging units for each of the batteries. Big hunkin' piece right there, uh, big unit. Charge two batteries at once. It looks like we also charge with the controller. All right, so in the case there, I see this. This is going to be the RTK base station unit. And now next thing as we look down, you can see this unit right here. This is the back tail and the elevators. So really, uh, just every time I... I hold this unit, you can just feel the craftsmanship that uh, uh, Autel has put into it. Uh, just great. But again, just like the wings, you definitely want to be careful with these servos. And if you are moving them, you're moving them as gently as I am right there. So we're going to set this in a gentle way. Let's control it over. Set this guy down right here. All right, so now that we look further into the case, a couple other things. I mean, I see some uh, instruction manuals, which are great, but you know, look through some more of our videos online uh, and contact further for some more. We're gonna open up kind of the second level right here. And as you see directly at the bottom, there is our first payload. 
So uh, different payloads uh, you can have for each different dragonfish and such. Uh, each unit is really nice and uh, placed in there. So we're gonna take that out nice and gently. This is that nice range finding unit. We're gonna set it right here on the side. All right, now a couple other things. I can see some other, like the other unit for the charging cables right here. Uh, we'll set that with this guy. Straps right here to hold the actual controller and the actual unit right there. As you can see, I mean, just a wonderful laid out case. And up top right here, you have a couple different units that are found in this little case in the side right here. Let's walk through each one. So first off, you have two replacement uh, props for the exterior wing sides right here to get like an A and a B for either side. You also have two uh, cables right here that are gonna be attached to the RTK base station and the RTK uh, poles that will be attached to the full tripod unit. You also have a charging brick, uh, USB-C uh, and a faster one right there for USB. Uh, this would be for charging the RTK uh, base station. Charging cable and some spare nuts and such that would be going for the uh, replacement blades on the wing. Now the other case to mention right now as I close this large case would be the battery case. Now there's a separate battery case that we're working with today because we like to carry an extended amount of batteries uh, with these units. Um, otherwise you could store two in the large case or depending on which case you actually have. Today we have it separated, especially uh, for use case for traveling. So as we open up, there we are, we have four different batteries. Again, you wanna make sure you keep these in pairs so you know exactly which unit goes where. Uh, we'll set these just gently. We're not gonna fully click them in. We'll just set them gently on top. There, there we have it. So that is gonna be the unboxing, full unboxing of the Dragonfish unit. Uh, what we do not see here today with us is going to be the RTK uh, tripod and the RTK poles. Um, but today is just going to be this unit. Great folks. Hey, well, thanks again for joining me outside today in this nice snowy cold Colorado here uh, and going through an unboxing of the Dragonfish. Now, if you have any other questions or would like to know a little bit more and get a little bit more in depth, please reach out to us at experts at dronenerds.com. Otherwise, thanks for joining me outside. Have a great rest of the day. Be safe.